Welcome to another in our series of videos on Canon's EOS Rebel T7i. We're going to look at Canon's new guided user interface and menu system, and how it can help first-time DSLR photographers step up to this camera. Just so you know, you can always change the menu system back to the traditional look and feel featured in our EOS cameras up to now. If you're a more experienced Canon owner and don't need the added support, this new user interface is easy to turn off when you want. At the heart of this new interface is the touchscreen LCD monitor. You can operate the T7i by pushing buttons and turning a dial, but for the most part, the touchscreen means you can work with it almost like a smartphone. The T7i has more icons and pictures that help you understand what a function will do. This guided concept is a clearer approach that many users will find more understandable and simple to work with. Let's start with the shooting mode. This is how you define how your camera operates and the information you see on the LCD monitor. Shooting modes are set with the large mode dial on top of the camera. The primary shooting modes we'll concentrate on here are the basic zone modes. This includes the green auto setting and modes with little icons on the dial. They're all fully automatic exposure modes, so you don't have to set or even think about things like shutter speed and lens aperture. When you use one of these modes, like scene intelligent auto mode, or something more specific like sports or landscape mode, the menu settings and the shooting display on the LCD monitor are simplified, so you can quickly make adjustments. If you switch into a creative zone shooting mode, like aperture priority or manual mode, then your camera display does become more detailed. For now though, let's focus on these basic zone shooting modes. As you take your pictures, your EOS Rebel T7i uses its LCD monitor to display four different types of information. First, the shooting screen is what you see on the LCD monitor during normal photography. The camera shows you its current settings and gives you touchscreen ability to make changes. This information should be easy to understand, and you can get to it by just touching the screen. Here's an important point. If you decide you don't want this screen constantly visible as you shoot pictures, press the Info button on the back of the camera to clear it. This can save a little battery power during a long shooting day, too. Another press on the Info button brings it back again. Second, the menu is a more detailed way of getting to your camera's settings. Pressing the menu button takes you directly here. The guided interface clearly tells you, with both graphics and text, what each different menu category does. And when you touch a menu item, a feature guide explains what a particular setting will do. Next is the mode guide. When you turn the mode dial on top of the camera, the screen updates. You'll see sample pictures and text explaining what each exposure mode does. This even occurs if you move to a creative zone shooting mode, so you don't have to guess what a setting like shutter priority would do. And finally, there's a feature guide. This shows you explanations for each menu setting as you choose it. This description momentarily appears to tell you what a menu item will do. You can tap an X to clear the information. Once you get more familiar with your camera, you can completely disable the feature if you want. From the menu, you can choose display level settings to control how menus are displayed. This area of the screen has distinctive aqua colored tabs, so you know at a glance when you're there. There are separate settings for the shooting screen you see during picture taking, the menu display, and even the feature guide we just talked about. So if and when you're ready to take off the training wheels and switch to more traditional camera controls, this menu area is where you can do it. We think you'll like shooting with this new user interface. Here's an example of how it makes everything streamlined. In a fully automatic shooting mode, it used to be really difficult and time consuming to deliberately lighten or darken a picture. With the EOS Rebel T7i, it's a lot simpler. Shoot in any of the modes you see on screen, and your Rebel T7i gives you a big brightness icon. Tap the quick control button, the Q, and then tap brightness to highlight it. 
Now you'll see an easy to understand scale on the LCD monitor. Just touch the screen or drag the orange indicator toward the darken or lighten direction. This lets you intentionally lighten or darken the next picture you take. It cancels itself if you turn your camera off or switch to a different shooting mode. Intentionally under and overexposing is a huge part of creative control of your pictures. This is helpful when you want more control when shooting against a bright or dark background. Great news, the Rebel T7i makes this easy and you don't have to switch to a mode like Aperture Priority to be able to do it. The new user interface on the EOS Rebel T7i offers less experienced photographers a way to experience the benefits of a full-fledged DSLR camera with interchangeable lenses without having to navigate through a bunch of menus and settings. It really simplifies the learning curve, especially if you want to move away from full auto green zone shooting. If you are used to traditional menus and commands, don't worry. You can quickly change the camera to look and feel a lot like Canon's high-end professional cameras. Either way, the EOS Rebel T7i gives you great convenience and lots of room to grow.